welcome to our educational channel so in this video so the problems on quadratic equations in previous chapter we learn only the quadratic equations how to solve any quadratic equation is given in any type of format we learn already how to solve now this chapter this entire chapter i'll explain the problems related to the quadratic equation so that to the word problems so we will give the word problems how to make to solve so how to make this stuff wise and what are the conditions we need to apply so let us see all each and everything and not only this chapter not only from this class so other classes information also is available in this website you just to go through it and you can see the link in description below you can find out the account requirements so in this uh, worksheets question marks everything is available just to go through it right now let us see the topic now first you will see the method of solving word problems on quadratic equations so actually is around uh, 14 topics are there approximately 14 so the problems on numbers okay problems on ages and problems on time and work so okay some problems on uh, distance speed so like this around 14 topics are there so all the 14 topics from every topic one or two sums I explain clearly now if you see the method of solving any word problem first step is you need to read the question carefully and assume the unknown value to be x so you take one unknown term the question is related to the for example numbers to that number you can take x the question is related to, uh, to find out the speed let the speed to be x so assume the unknown which is unknown term we can take it as x then we can translate the given statement in the form of quadratic equation okay. in general form so that is you know a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 the entire um, statement we need to convert into quadratic equation then like previous chapters normal you can apply formula or you can factorize and you can solve it okay let me show one or two examples first in this then next we will go to the topic wise okay if you see question so here what we need to assume now this is the problem so in this if you observe the product of two numbers is 192 and sum of these numbers is 28 so find the numbers both numbers you need to find out but we can assume just one number be x in that way you can solve so let the required number required numbers for example if you take one number is x then automatically the next one because sum of these numbers is 28 if one number is x another one is 28 minus x okay if one number is 3 then 28 minus 3 then obviously it is 25 so because of they'll give at least two statements from person every problem so one statement what statement you need to take the first step that is important okay sum of the numbers is 28 so one number is x then other is 28 minus x now see the first statement that is the product of those two numbers is 192 yes product means multiplication now we can convert this statement condition into the quadratic form that is product means multiplication so one number is x other number is 28 minus x the product if you multiply those two numbers we should get 192 now if you simplify this statement then you can get the quadratic equation then next is a simple solving quadratic equation right now x into 28 that is 28x minus x into x is x squared is equals to 192 we need to convert into general form so these two terms also take other side then plus x squared minus 28x okay these two right side that's only 192 so plus 192 is equal to 0 right now this is the uh, general form accurately now based on using this just we can factorize this same like previous chapter we did so many sums how to factorize so similarly we can do now it is a 192 if you because x square coefficient is 1 you multiply 192 if you add minus 28 should come 18 16 12 0 so that and all I am not teaching again, all you learned previous chapter, just directly I am going to the factorization steps. So x is square, so it is minus 16x minus 12x. Minus 16 minus 12 is minus 28. 
plus 192 is equal to 0. Now take the common from first two terms. x is a common, x minus 16 minus 12 is a common, same x minus 16 should get in the bracket also. So x minus 16 is common, then x minus 12 is the remaining. Now according to the zero product rule, that is x minus 16 is equal to 0 or x minus 12 is equal to 0. From this, x is equal to 16 or and x is equal to 12. So and see if these add both numbers, so you are getting 28, right? They can directly can say, hence the required numbers. So the required numbers uh, are this 16 and 12. 16 and 12, we can verification also you can do. 16 plus 12, you are getting 28. So you can take these both as answers. One is 16 and one is 12. And if you multiply 192, if you add 28. So the main thing is the unknown number. Let us take x. Both statement you observe, which statement we can prefer to get the second term, second number. That you can take instead of product. So you can take, either way, uh, if you take product also you will get, but mostly you can take the sum easily. If you take one number is product is x, one more number is 192, right? So 192 by x we can write. So instead of that, which is the easiest way that we can go for. Let me show one more example also. Then we'll go for the topic wise. So here is um, another sum. You see this. 50 is divided into two parts. Okay. Such that sum of their reciprocals is 1 by 12. Find the two parts. So sum of their, here is given, sum of their reciprocals is 1 by 12. But 50 is divided into two parts. So instead of taking second statement, take the first statement to find out the two steps. So let the required part. Let the required part so take to be as x and once you take x then you can see the statement 50 is divided into two parts one part is x then obviously other part is 50 minus x okay if you find out x value then 50 minus that number is another number another part in that way you should take this step now second step sum of the reciprocals is 1 by 12 sum that means addition right and reciprocals so interchanging numerator and denominator so reciprocals means x reciprocal is 1 by 12 or 1 by x x reciprocal is 1 by x and 50 minus x reciprocal is 1 by 50 minus x okay this x means you can take it as x by 1 so we can write as reciprocal is 1 by x but statement is sum is 1 by 12 sum means plus if you add those both then we will get 1 by 12 yeah. this is the important step so from the condition from the statement what main step we should take that is very important okay once the step is clear then only simplification is the second part the simplification you can do this so do the lcm if you do that 50 minus x plus x by x into 50 minus x is equal to 1 by 12. Just I did the cross multiplication as in concept. Then simplify. Do cross multiplication here. Here I applied a by b plus c by d formula. Okay. Then plus x minus x cancel. Then that is 15 to 12. Okay, 600. And x into 50 minus x. That is 50x minus x squared. So take the terms one side. These also I'm taking left side. Then plus x squared minus 50x plus 600 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this in simple. Just to take the term. Now this 600 will take. So in two parts. If you multiply 600 because x squared coefficient is 1. So 20, 30. The 620 and 30 is 50. So minus 20 minus 30 you can take. Because you need to get minus 50. x squared minus 20x minus 30x plus 600 is equal to 0. Simple. Now take the common from first. x minus 20 minus 30 common. 
x minus 20. Same you should get in the bracket. We already perfect in the previous chapter. So just I am making fast this stuff. Then x minus 20 is equal to 0 or x minus 30 is equal to 0. By uh, 0 product rule. Right? Then x is equal to 20 or x is equal to 30. Then 20 plus 30 is 50 we are getting. So obviously. So hence the required two parts are 30 and 20. Therefore, the two parts are this 20 and 30. Right? Just two examples I explained how to take the term x and how to by the condition how to make this. Now mostly we will see the topics first. So not only this, there are around 13 to 14 topics are there. Problems on numbers, problems on ages, even problems on uh, geometrical concepts. Okay, time distance, problems on speed, problems on the boat, okay, stream. So those sums are all we will see now one by one. Now let us see the problems on the numbers.